So I was just saying um, before we cut out and had some technical difficulties on the stream, I was just saying to Stark, uh, well, to the team in general, um, if you come second as you are at the moment in the in the in the league tables, you will have to play off against most likely either LMS or 90 FOV Esports. Uh, do you feel confident that you can get into Premier if you have to play against either of those teams? Probably not, because Maffy can't play in two days for like a month or two because he's going to Australia. So. We're not going to be playing for the pretty much the entire entirety of July, so we might just give it away instead of getting embarrassed because we haven't played in a while. And yeah, to be honest, I don't I don't think we're ready for prime. So you're you're like happy to play another season in Division One. I mean, if you're if you you almost um, drop this season, so if that happened, you would have probably been put in Division One again. I imagine if the team had come back. So uh, I guess you're you're happy to do that again. Yeah, we just need a stable, another stable roster in Division 1. We should be ready for Prem, I think. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, uh, looking at the pre-season, you were offered a... I think you were offered a space in, uh, in the playoffs for Prem. Um, or at least some kind of consideration because your, uh, your off-season form was fantastic. Like, you were beating some of the, some of the really strong... or some of the lower Prem teams, I mean, or, and the really strong-looking Div 1 teams. And you were definitely favourites going into it. And obviously, you had a bit of a rocky season. So, all can you say is, like, a, as a team leader, how do you sort of deal with having having a bad season and I mean you seem happy to just try again like once you've uh, got rid of your instabilities and yeah we, we, we're just going to try try again in division one see if we can keep the same roster for the whole of the season if we can I think we'll be ready for Prem but to be honest we, we didn't really go keep going through tactics which we should have done every time we changed the roster <laughs> so it was just a bit messy for a lot of the games we had when we lost some games we really shouldn't have done yeah, I mean it happens. Um, I think the, mo- the most surprising was drawing with Fever Band. They had a really, really rocky off season and uh, had a lot of roster changes. And coming straight off of losing the back, uh, sorry, come off the, off the back of losing the Prem playoffs, they had to play you in week one, and you were favourites to win Division One and dropped a map immediately. And I think that gave them sort of some fresh vigour to take on the rest of the, the division, and they've done well. So, um, what do you think? Uh, obviously, I imagine you're put your PCW in against that kind of team, Fever Pandas, um, LMS, Vinland, and so on. Uh, how do you feel they'll f- uh, fare in Prem? Because it look, it's looking um, likely that they'll make it into Prem if they continue to with that. To be honest, I, I don't really think they'll do too well in Prem. I mean, they seem they seem a bit disorganised. Where, and I think what's going to happen is it's going to be a re- repeat of possibly Vinland or possibly Solar. Because how I see Solar is they just they just mess up the plane, and other disorganised teams don't do so well to it. For example. Uh, what they called now Skidmark Central or whatever they're called. They they just seemed to Solo just messed up the play completely and Skidmark Central was just all over the place and just kept losing rounds. Yeah, that's definitely something we've seen. Solo have been really strong. Obviously they've uh, they've been together longest, so out of the the um the teams in the lower half of Prem. So yeah, I mean it's definitely showing and that's the kind of thing that if you play another divi- uh, season in Division One and then you come into Prem, you'll have that uh, advantage on your side. Which is obviously a good thing. Having a coordinated team is uh, is really great. So uh, let's round up. Um, Snip, give me a, give me a question. Let's ask one to Rising because we haven't heard him speak with a great deal so far. Uh, Rising, why do you think of Stark's leadership skills? He's some kind of a moron, to be honest. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> like the thing is, I enjoyed it more on Roaming Soldiers since I was way more free because Stark is basically leading the whole gameplay and sometimes it's been annoying if I want to go for something as a pocket and I just have to stay because like he has a plan already. You actually had that sick bomb on to, uh, in the PC like rotating around uh, that sort of top bit on the PC um, and took down Shrike that was fantastic like sort of that happens pocket, when I'm pocket free. roaming. <laughs> but yeah like are you are you planning what's the plans for when Mafi's back are you going to go back to uh, Stark on Soldier and Mafi on Demo or? You got to ask Stark I don't know I don't mind. The idea mm. is that Maffy's going demo, I'm going back to pocket, and then Rising's, Rising can roam. I think Stark really should go medic. On pocket. I should go medic. Yeah. And we can have bar on demo. I can kick bar. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'll, I'll round up and uh, say congratulations and uh, good luck with your remaining officials. Uh, who, who do you have left to play still? Uh, yeah. Did they Yeah, just did I stutter. No, well, that shouldn't be too hard, I think. Uh, Based on their previous results, you're looking a lot stronger. So, yeah, once again, congratulations and uh, and good luck. And Congrats, that's, uh, that's us for thanks. Thanks for tonight. Thanks.
Bye. Bye.